Okay, the current in the wires of a circuit is 60 milliampere. If the voltage impressed across the ends of the circuit were doubled, uh, with no change in its resistance, uh, what would be the new current? What would the new current be? Okay. So uh, we can see here he give us the current. Okay, current and then voltage uh, will double. Okay, no change in resistance. What's the new current? So we have two current. Yeah, one is uh, this I one and this is I two. So we need to find this I two. So we can see uh, from this, uh, he said new current. So there are actually two conditions. There are actually two conditions. Maybe you can list out. Yeah, list out uh, this first condition and second condition uh, side by side. Yeah, two column. Uh, we can put the I1. We can put the I1 over here, uh, which is 60 milliampere. Uh, this one later we have to change to SI unit, ampere. Okay, so we, we don't know about the new current. Alright, and then he said voltage uh, voltage uh, across the circuit will double. Uh, okay, voltage will double. So I can say we have first we have V1, okay, but we don't know what's the value. Uh, V2, okay, V2 is double the V1 uh, because it said double, right? Voltage doubled, uh, voltage is doubled, okay. However, no change in its resistance. So resistance is considered to be constant. Uh, considered to be constant. So these we can say uh, R1, uh, R2, uh, they are equal. Uh, they are equal. So we can put them as we can just put them as R enough lah. Uh, we can just put them as R. Yeah. Or we can write like this. Uh, R1 equal to R. R2 also equal to R. Yeah. Uh, so they have the same resistance. Uh, so from here we can actually just use the Ohm's law. Okay, we can imagine these questions like um, let me draw the circuit for you and see. Yeah, uh, it's like um, we have a circuit. Yeah, uh, with a battery. Yeah, battery, uh, and then uh, this circuit is a resist we have surely have resistor yeah surely have resistor so um okay resistor this resistor is uh can considered to be constant All right wait for a second so this resistance considered to be constant um so uh, this uh we have current okay positive to negative so we have the current here initially is i want okay um, voltage uh, initially also voltage V1 okay voltage V1 uh, after that after that this voltage is doubled here yeah? voltage is doubled so we change with a new battery change to a new battery so uh, the change to V2 okay uh, change to V2 and then this current surely will change lah. Uh, this current will surely change become I2 uh, but this resistance is considered V constant in the circuit uh, no change in the resistance okay so when we change the when we change the voltage from v1 to v2 the current also change from i1 to i2 uh, so so this is just uh, using ohm's law uh, the ohm's law you understand and uh, the ohm's law uh, ohm's law is uh, v equal to ir uh, okay uh, so mm, okay so use the formula v go to, v go to ir okay uh, so we have this uh, v equal to ir okay so we can find out the resistance first huh? maybe we can just put on uh, this one uh, when the voltage is v1 so the current will be i1 okay uh, similarly goes for second condition uh, v go to ir so when the voltage is uh, V2, the current also become I2. So we can actually uh, find the resistance first. Yeah? So uh, do we need to find the resistance? Um, actually, we can do a simpler way. You see, uh, this um, uh, okay. We can you know we can. Uh, Rearrange this formula become V1 over I1 equal to R 
Uh, this one also V2 over I2 equal to R. Uh, since the resistance is the same, what is this? Okay, since the resistance is the same, so we can just put uh, V. Okay, uh, okay, this is uh, using Ohm's law. Lah. This is Ohm's law. Yeah, Ohm's law. The, I mean the formula. Yeah, V equal to IR, Ohm's law. Okay, so we can uh, just V1 over I1 equal to R, which is also equal to V2 over I2. Uh, understand? So, uh, okay. So, this one is V1. I1 is 60 milliampere, 60 milli. So, milli become, uh, uh, the milli become exponent negative 3. Okay, change to SI unit. And then uh, V2 is actually 2V1, right? Double. And then current I2. Uh, I need to find current I2. Uh, so I can find the I2. Okay, I can find the I2. Uh, so what is the answer? What is the answer? So I2 become... Uh, okay. Uh, it becomes uh, 120. Actually, I can change back to milliampere. Lah. <laughs> I just lazy to change the value. So these uh, become milliampere. So it's 120 milliampere. Am I, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, 120 milliampere. So that's it for these questions. Yeah, Ohm's law. Uh, or you want to, you want the, uh, you don't want to rearrange a formula also, you can uh, just put this as equation one, equation two, you know, and then you can actually do. 2 divided by 1, you know, 2 divided by 1, so what do you have? Uh, 2 divided by 1, V2, uh, uh, and I2R, okay, uh, wait a second, okay, I can do like, like this also, uh, equal uh, over V1 equal to I1, R1, do you, you understand what I'm doing? I uh, just divide the, fo the formula, I divide the formula, yeah, 2 divided by 1 formula. So I got this. Uh, so the resistance can be uh, cancelled off. And then I still back to the same formula. See that? Uh, I still back to the same formula. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe I can re- uh, I mean, uh, this is V2. So two, V2 is 2V1. And then over V1 equal to I2 over um, this uh, is 60 milliampere, 60 milliampere. So uh, this V1, V1 cancel off. Uh, I2 is still uh, 120 milliampere. Uh, so I still get back the same answer. Lah. Okay, 120 milliampere. So you want to rearrange your formula or, or you want to divide the formula right away, also can. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, bye-bye.